Is the Gulan gun possible? The discount proton pack from Ghostbusters. Can this thing even destroy things as easily as it does in game? Or, to more of the point, even function? Let's find out. First, what does it do? The gluon gun shoots a concentrated number of gluons in a beam-like manner. If aimed at a person or enemy, they will just disappear or explode. Now that we know what it does, let's get to explaining. So normally, I would take apart the gun, but it's not really textured or has anything on the inside, so I can't see how it works, unlike most of the Portal 2 animation objects. So that might make things a little bit difficult. Alright, since we can't see how the gun works on the inside properly, Let's look at what gluons are. So, inside an atom, there is a nucleus. Inside the nucleus, there are protons and neutrons. Inside the protons and neutrons are subatomic particles called quarks. Quarks are held together with strong forces created by things called gluons. They glue the quarks together. So, basically, they hold things together. Now, as you probably know, we can't interact with atoms or quarks normally. And it's the same with gluons doesn't look good so far, so let's have a look at the fuel and see if that'll help. The gluon gun uses depleted uranium-235, which is a right waste product of uranium, which comes from uranium fuel processing. Since it's depleted, it doesn't draw enough power or energy, so it wouldn't work to power it at all. So as I'm writing this and doing my research, I stumbled across this Reddit post and I'm I'm so mad. They're pretty much both correct, but I put all this time into making this video and writing the script, so I'm just gonna pretend these don't exist for now. But anyway, let's continue. The only way we can see glow ones is by putting them under extreme heat inside a hadron collider which is way too big to be the backpack of the gun. And that's only to see them. But you know what? Let's give them a benefit of the doubt and say the fuel and gluons can be enough such contained, but they still need excessive amounts of heat and energy to be released. So the gun would vaporize into plasma before it could fire them. All right, again, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. What would happen if you could shoot some of it? Well, it would cause you to start to decay very, very fast and be probably very very painful. Imagine uh, like infinity snapped except you're melting. Yeah. So in conclusion this is not possible right now but sometime in the future it probably will happen and we should all be concerned for our lives. Anyway thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video. Now if you did enjoy this don't normally ask this, so I hope this doesn't backfire. Please consider subscribing. It would be fantastic and mean a lot to me. And if you do have the time, please give me some feedback on the video in the comments on all my Discord. Links will be in the description. This video did take around a week and a bit, uh, so I hope I got everything right. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>